How is it going everybody? It is Kakoa back from After School Hustle and today guys I'm going to be discussing three cryptocurrencies that have been exploding so far. Now Quantum, Omisego, and Neo, all of which are Asian cryptocurrencies have been taking off recently and I'm going to be going into exactly what all of these um, platforms are, all of these crypto, what exactly all of these cryptocurrencies are um, and giving you guys some information on why I think they are exploding. We did see something like this happen um, about four or five months ago when Quantum uh, Omizego and Neo were all taking off at the same time. All of them went up about a couple hundred percent. Um, I do believe uh, that occurred. Um, we saw a massive run up from about five, uh, four, five, six dollars all the way to like that eighteen dollar mark uh, for Quantum. Omizego hit about thirteen dollars at some point, and Neo took off from about ten dollars all the way up to about a fifty-six. Um, dollar price level uh, which was just insane I owned some new at the time so I made some good uh, decent money off of that but before I actually get into the video guys if you do go on to enjoy it make sure to drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and if you guys have already subscribed make sure to hit that notification bell down below because it will keep you guys updated whenever I post a new video but jumping right in guys quantum is up to about $30 as of right now today it's gone up 55% which is just insane we reached um, we surpassed a market capitalization of 2 billion US dollars um, which is pretty crazy and we have seen over 1.2 billion dollars um, come in in volume which is just insane um, most of this volume is coming from Korea so it does believe it does look like there are a lot of Asian markets kind of driving this one up um, which is very significant I do believe um, this shows that there's a lot of potential for quantum and um, how much um, the Asian markets kind of believe in this project now going over to exactly what quantum is um, or Qtum they are a blockchain made ready for business so they build decentralized applications that work simply and they're executable on mobile devices and compatible with major existing blockchain ecosystems and uh, this uh, platform allows you to build decentralized applications that you can trust it combines a modified bitcoin core infrastructure with an intercompatible version of the ethereum virtual machine quantum merges the reliability of bitcoin's unfailing blockchain with the endless possibilities provided by smart contracts so they use smart contracts in order to help build um, decentralized applications um, and they allow um, users to use mobile uh, devices in order to kind of run these apps um, and actually kind of view them um, and work with them quantum is designed with stability modularity and interoperability in mind it is the foremost toolkit for building trusted decentralized applications suited for real world business oriented use cases. So their um, kind of their target uh, consumer are actual businesses um, and a lot of businesses need decentralized applications. So Quantum definitely kind of fits this agenda um, for these businesses. It's hybrid nature in combination with a first of its kind POS consensus protocol allows quantum applications to be compatible with major blockchain ecosystems while providing native support for mobile devices and Internet of Things appliances. They make it easier than ever for established sectors and legacy institutions to interface with blockchain technology. They allow users to create their own tokens, automate supply chain management, and engage in self-executing agreements in a standardized environment. It's verified and tested for stability. Um, so automated supply chain management um, is something that a lot of businesses need, and this makes it easier for them to do so. It allows them to kind of expedite the process of getting um, all of their supplies and resources ready um, in order to make their products. So I do believe a lot of companies will be kind of implementing um, the quantum protocol um, in China, Asia, um, just in general. Um, and then if it is picked up more mainstream, then definitely some uh, United States companies could use this um, to help improve um, their their uh, supply chain management. So in my most recent video about the deep brain chain, I talked to you guys about how Tencent led the artificial intelligence project open um, and how they announced that they'll be working jointly uh, with quantum quantum uh, chains and they will be building a blockchain laboratory um, to kind of help focus on the artificial intelligence side of things. So I think this is very significant. This is definitely why uh, we are seeing a price increase recently. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much quantum for you guys. I hope you um, 
take some time to go research this yourself. It's a, it's a very interesting program, um, and I do believe it has a lot of potential to grow. I would maybe wait for a pullback if you're trying to enter in um, on the Quantum uh, platform, if you're trying to buy some of the cryptocurrency for it. I would definitely uh, wait for a pullback, but if you guys are looking for long-term gains and you just wanna get in now, uh, you could also do that as well. This coin can be bought on Binance along with Omise Go and NEO. All of those coins can be bought in Binance um, Exchange, which I will link in the description down below. But moving on guys, I'm gonna be discussing Omise Go now. Now this coin is currently at $14.68. We have reached a new all-time high. We have just uh, pretty much hit that $1.5 billion market capitalization. Uh, Omise Go is definitely uh, is ranked 19 right now in out of all the cryptocurrencies. Omise Go um, actually uh, was talked about by, by Vitalik Buterin, who uh, is the creator of Ethereum. And he, Vitalik said that his, right now his favorite token model is the OMG style staking tokens. And some reasons are that it is not a medium of exchange token. There is a clear valuation model um, and it requires a running node to get returns, not passive income. So it's more legally defensible. Uh, so this is very significant. We had 30, over 35,000 likes and 8.5 thousand retweets about um, the Omise Go platform. So that's very significant. Uh, that definitely helped get the word out about Omise Go. Now, Omise Go is the answer to a fundamental coordination problem amongst payment processors, gateways, and financial institutions by enabling decentralized exchange on a, on a public blockchain at high volume and low cost. Omise Go provides a next generation value transfer service operating across currencies and asset types. Through the Omise Go network connected to the Ethereum mainnet, anyone will be able to conduct financial transactions such as payments, remittances, payroll deposit, business to business commerce, supply chain finance, loyalty programs, asset management and trading and other on-demand services in a completely decentralized and inexpensive way. Further on, millions of mainstream users in the largest growing economies in the world will be enabled to make the transition from using fiat money to decentralized currencies such as Ethereum, Bitcoin and others. The Omisigo network is intrinsically agnostic between fiat and decentralized money. So as far as adoption and usage go, the system is constructed so that the best currencies will win. The Omisigo blockchain com comprises of a decentralized exchange, liquidity provider mechanism, clearinghouse messaging network, and an asset-backed blockchain gateway. It is scalable, uh, which is very important. Ethereum and um, Bitcoin are having some scalability issues right now, and they're having a very slow network for uh, transferring payments. Um, so this definitely does provide a solution to that. Um, it is also a totally public uh, or permissionless blockchain whose proof of stake consensus is bonded by the activities of the chain itself. The network is designed as a highly performant system, leveraging interleaked blockchain construction while clearing um, and settlement occurs over the Omise Go blockchain. The cost of protecting transaction value is externalized to other chains in ways that directly promote the value of those chains. Now, a quick summary of what kind of Omise Go is trying to accomplish is that they are trying to unbank the bank. This stated objective is to provide better financial services for everyone, including both people who use traditional banking services and people in developing countries and locals. Uh, which lack traditional banking infrastructure. So by offering the solution to coordination problems between payment processors, financial gateways, and financial institutions, I do believe Omise Go does have a lot of room to grow in 2018. And considering all of the explosion of other cryptocurrencies, Omise Go can definitely hit that at least the $5 billion market capitalization um, in 2018, at least in my opinion. I do believe this platform does have a ton of potential um, and with the kind of support from the creator of Ethereum. I do believe um, that this will help kind of push um, Omise Go um, up pretty high in price level. Um, I am somewhat invested in Omise Go. It, it is a small part of my portfolio, uh, so I may be a little biased there, but Omise Go, I am a fan of. Moving on to the last cryptocurrency uh, for today's video, guys, we are gonna be talking about Neo um, a little bit, not too much in depth, um, about NEO, but currently we're back up to the $50 mark. We have a market capitalization of over 3 billion US dollars, 
uh, we did see a push up past the resistance levels um, around $50. So I do believe that is a sign that we are going to be moving up more pretty soon. NEO um, is a Ethereum competitor, um, which has digital assets that are pro programmable assets that exist in the form of electronic data. With a blockchain technology, the digitization of assets can be decentralized trustful traceable highly transparent and free of intermediaries on the neo blockchain users are able to register trade and circulate multiple types of assets and then proving the connection between digital and physical assets is possible through digital identity assets are registered through a validated digital identity um, that are protected by law so this demon article kind of sums up why neo is so unique it says that NEO's core developer, Eric Zhang, revealed Smart Contracts 2.0, the next step of smart contracts. Ethereum-based smart contracts use Ethereum's own programming language, Solidity, um, but NEO's Smart Contracts 2.0 will use ordinary programming languages like JavaScript, Go, and Python. And with this move, the NEO team is hoping to attract a wider audience of developers for potential NEO-based applications. So this is why I do believe NEO does have a ton of potential. Um, we saw that Ethereum uh, recently surpassed $700 um, and a very high market capitalization. I do believe it reached over $50 billion. And NEO is currently valued at the $3 billion market capitalization level, uh, which is pretty low. I do believe NEO is very undervalued um, considering all of the things that uh, developers can um, do on the Neo platform, they can build apps using just normal programming languages, and that increases the amount of developers that can actually use the Neo platform to make applications. Now, Neo in January is going to Silicon Valley at DevCon, and they're going to discuss exactly what the Neo platform is and why um, developers will want to come and make uh, applications on their platform uh, rather than Ethereum. And this is because it is simply easier to do so. Um, and I do believe. Neo going to DevCom at the end of January could be very big for them as they'll really be able to get out the word about the Neo smart economy um, and how they make it easier for developers to produce applications. But that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your price predictions of Neo, Quantum, and Omise Go down in the comment section down below. I do want to hear what you guys think about these three projects. I hope. Each and every one of you is having a fantastic day though. If you did enjoy the video, please consider dropping a thumbs up as it does to help me out. Subscribe if you're new and if you have already subscribed, make sure to hit that notification bell down below um, as it will help you guys keep up to date on whenever I post a new video. Thank you very much for watching though. This has been Kikoa from After School Hustle and I'm out. Peace. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rabbits combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things.